And I think what we really need to think about here is not only do we need to redo this village, which these great people are going to do, and I wish them all the luck in the world to do that, but I think that we need to get back to the fact that we have to tell people in this city and those people who come here to visit the fort that there is another attraction less than two miles west of here. That's what we need to do, in my opinion. We've got to get people out here. It, it's, it's wonderful to rebuild the village, but if we don't get the attendance, it, it, it's not going to mean anything to anybody. and as a community gathering point. In 1883, it was sold to George Gibbons, who turned it into a private residence. Currently, it has a foundation that has cracks and openings that need repair. You walk around the outside, it's very clear to see that, but we really don't want you getting too close to some of these buildings. That uh, you know, with Mr. Prince's uh, investment in this, uh, the uh, Erie Canal Village, it can bring this place back to life. Uh, this was meant to uh, be a, an economic engine for our area, uh, to work in conjunction with Fort Stanwix and uh, the many other uh, sites that we have to see in this area. So we're hoping that uh, we can get some volunteers, uh, we can get some people down here that uh, to recreate the interest that there was in 1970 to uh, to bring this place uh, back to uh, back to life. Let's hope that it can happen. Let's look forward from day to day and make sure that it doesn't get to the state that it's in again after they do restore it. And I'm looking forward to that and I can hardly wait to see it.